I see why these have gone viral. They really feel like a luxury lipstick. You get a lot of bang for your buck, a big punch of color out of each one of these. I'm Maggie D. My channel is all about makeup for women over 50 and over 60. Would appreciate it and love it if you want to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you've tried these. I would love to hear what you think about them. If you've been wondering about these viral lipsticks from Milani, I've got a bunch to show you and we're going to have a little swatch party and I'm going to tell you all about the formula. So let's start swatching them. So the first one I want to swatch is the 130 Lingerie Milani Color Fetish Balm Formula. You see how the... Um, comes up in a metal tube. It's not just a traditional bullet. I'm going to take my jacket off so I can put this on my arm. Okay, so the 130 color is a kind of a pinkish coral. It's about as warm as I ever go. I try to select the cool undertones or the cool tone colors for myself. Nice intensity. Next one is 120 Fantasy. It is a pinkish berry is what I would call it. And that one thing it's important to note that even though these packages are colorful, they don't necessarily reflect the color as it appears on your lips. Also, they don't necessarily look like, like this does not look to me like the color it's going to be when I swatch it. So you kind of have to get to know them. Then I've got 190 Covet, which is a kind of a fuchsia pink. This one's brighter. This is the brightest one that I have in my collection. They all are very intense. You get a lot of color with these. And then I've got the 200, which is the Bitten. This is the one I'm wearing right now. This is a wine color and it's rather dark. It's a little dark for me. I don't usually wear colors this dark, but it's nice in the winter. And it looked good with my, my velvet blazer. And then I have 210 Nylon, which is a, a brownish wine. Darkest, this is as dark as I dare to go on the colors. And I'm really sorry I have to wear a Band-Aid. That is just how it is because I have something that the dermatologist took off. You don't want to see it. So I have those five. And then I also have the mat that I bought really by mistake. It is 4, 430 Secret is the color. And it, you can tell the difference. The mats have the gold band and the shine formula with the balm has the black band. I've grown to like this though, but I have to, I'm going to swatch it right up here. It's a brownish nude pink. I have to wear a clear gloss over it or it makes my lips look dry and wrinkled, more wrinkled than they are. Milani says that these are medium coverage, buildable balm lipstick, which is made with 85% blend of nourishing oils for next level moisture and shine that glide on effortlessly. effortlessly. I agree, they're shiny, embalming, and nourishing. That I don't find them drying at all. 100% vegan, rich hydration of a balm, buildable color of a lipstick, and the shine of a gloss in one product you're going to want to keep on repeat. I will not say it has the shine of a gloss. It has the shine of a shine lipstick. And I will also say, on the negative side, for me, at my age, 57, the colors are a little intense. A lot of times I'll take a Kleenex and blot, so it takes the intensity down just a little bit. And then I have tons of clear glosses that I'll just kind of put over, mostly kind of in the center of my lips. And I, I like that a little bit better than these straight on. But I do sometimes feel a little bold and I wear them just as they are. These are cruelty-free vegan made in the USA. A little trick I use a lot is if I really am about to order some lipsticks and I want to see if they're going to be shiny and, and softer and more nourishing. If they come in a bullet, they're going to be like a traditional feeling, even if they're shiny. But if the shaft of the lipstick is metal, then I have better luck. It's more like a balm. It's a little more sheer, usually. I hate to make, you know, these broad generalizations. 
and I generally am going to prefer the formula because it's not going to accentuate every single wrinkle on my lips when it's a little more light. Look what I've done. When it's a little more light and sheer. I want to show you how they compare to one of my favorite lipsticks, which is the Revlon Glass Shine. Looks very similar. I'm, I picked the nylon in the um, Milani 210, and then I've got the similar color. I think it's a toasting glasses. So they're both a kind of brownish wine color. So I'm going to swatch them over here. Is way more, you can see the Milani is way more intense in color than my glass shine. So that speaks for itself, I think. Revlon Glass Shine is way more sheer and has a more natural and subtle look. And these are bold. And I, I dare say they are luxurious. They come in 12 shades. I chose five. I chose every color that I thought I could wear that wasn't um, an orange undertone or two of a too much of a brown or coral. Those just don't flatter me. I did pick the lingerie, which has got the most coral or a little bit of an orange inside that pink. And I still can wear it and I like it. Overall, I would not say these are going to be one of my holy grails due to the intensity of the color. They are just, um, the colors are too intense for me. But if you have um, a little a more contrast in your face, a little darker hair, darker eyes compared to your skin tone, you wear a bolder color, these are perfect for you. They are a winner. I give them a 10 out of 10. I love the formula, love everything about them, love the price. They're very similar to a high-end product. They don't feel drugstore at all. So I completely understand why they went viral. Do I have a perfect color for me on here or a favorite? Oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. I would say 120 Fantasy for me is my favorite color. I called it the berry pink and it just seems like it fits me the best. I'll put it on real quick. Once again, I'm picking up, I am picking up a bit of a berry flavor or a fruity flavor or, or fragrance or something. It's, it's pleasant and I like it. And anyway, this is the 120 Fantasy. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm Maggie D. I'm going to say goodbye.